Hi, in this video, we will learn about the RedRace security platform and how to use it in SAP security audits, vulnerability assessments, and penetration testing. Working with the platform begins with the port and service scan module. This module is designed to automatically search for SAP services and ports. First, we must create a network landscape of SAP servers. To do this, click on New Network and then enter the IP addresses of the SAP systems. For this video, we will scan Java and ABAP stacks. Using the platform, you can scan all instances of SAP systems, or some of them. We will scan from 00 to 04 instances. When the landscape has been defined, you need to save it by pressing the Save button, setting the network name, and then running Port Scan. After completing a port scan, you can see SAP systems services and ports. Then, you can modify or remove the information of the detected services according to your requirements. After identifying the system's ports and services, we can proceed to the main scanner module, Vulnerability Assessment and Management. In the list of networks, select the Just Scan network and click Run Scan to start the vulnerability assessment. Upon starting the vulnerability assessment, the network's status changes to scanning. Once the assessment is complete, access the report to view any vulnerabilities discovered. By double-clicking on the vulnerability name, you can see detailed information on its severity, status, host, port, impact, solution, and references. You can also manage its status and severity. As a reminder, we performed a vulnerability assessment without authentication. Let's now return to port and service scanning and define users for SAP services to conduct authenticated scans. In this video, we use SAP star user, but you can use any other user. After initializing the users, it is important to save the network. Let's perform the vulnerability assessment using the user account. We need to rename the reports generated from two vulnerability assessments. The first report should be named Black Box, as the vulnerabilities were detected without a specific user. The second report should be named White Box, as the scanning was done using a specific account. Upon comparing the reports, you can find that the platform detected significantly more vulnerabilities during the white box assessment than during the black box vulnerability assessment. The missing SAP security note module detects missing SAP security notes that have not been installed in the system. This module comes into action when the vulnerability assessment is started. Next, the threat modeling module comes into action when a vulnerability assessment is initiated. This module gathers information from the SAP regarding inter-SAP systems connections that contain stored passwords. The platform is tasked with creating a map of these inter-SAP connections, illustrating potential pathways an attacker could exploit if the SAP system were to be compromised. The Profile Parameter module is designed to detect missing configurations, such as incorrect password policies, gateway settings, and many others. One of our innovative modules is the Password Security Module. Using this module, our platform connects to an ABAP or Java stack, receives users' hashes, and can brute force these hashes based on several patterns. You can find weak user passwords and notify them about their change using this module.
Finally, assessment reports can be exported in various formats such as HTML or CSV, or directly to JIRA or ServiceNow. The exported reports include a detailed report of vulnerabilities, scanned IP addresses, and the scan status. From the platform dashboard, you can check the status of the systems, 